Today I am at the keyboard of, an, of a Fazioli F308, which is an extremely rare piano, and one of the few pianos in the world to use more than three pedals. I have heard of other pianos that will do that as well. Sometimes they'll have five or six to alter the sound of the piano, but the Fazioli F308 has four. And I thought I'd do a quick video that talks about what all the pedals do, and particularly the mystery pedal here at the left. So first of all, the damper pedal, the standard pedal on every piano ever, lists all the dampers off of the strings to create a sustained sound. What this does is it lets the strings ring for their full duration, and it also creates all kinds of sympathetic sounds in the piano as well. You can hear that by playing a note up here with no pedal, then lifting the pedal and hearing all the extra sound that it creates. It creates a very echoey reverby effect. The middle pedal is kind of similar, except it will only lift up one damper at a time. And the way this works is you will play a note, then press the pedal down, and it will keep those two dampers up, or as many dampers as you want, up at a time. So only those two will ring, but all the other ones won't. Which is used in effect in many classical pieces to create kind of like a pedal tone that you can continue having throughout the song while you do other things along the keyboard, much like I just did there. The left pedal is also very common on many modern pianos, and what that does is it takes the whole keyboard and moves it one string over. And you might think that that would disrupt the piano playing while someone is playing it, but it really doesn't. It doesn't move over very far. On a piano that has had time to break in and the hammers have little grooves in them where, they, where they've been hitting the strings, this makes an absolutely massive effect as the part of the hammer that is unused is now striking the string and only two strings are being struck at once. The third one is not being struck. Mm -hmm. So on this piano, if I were to play something and then press the left pedal, you can hear a difference, but it's not very its not very obvious because this piano has not been played very much. However, you can tell a difference. And the piano is louder with the left pedal removed. Finally, we come to the mystery pedal, the fourth pedal. And this is unique to the Fazioli F308 as far as I know, at least with pianos manufactured today. There might have been an antique manufacturer from years ago that had a pedal similar to this. What this does is it's similar to the left pedal on an upright piano. What that does in an upright piano is it moves the hammers closer to the string to make it play quieter, and it does the exact same thing here. It takes the hammers, the entire uh, action, not the action, just the hammers, and it lifts them closer up to the strings. And that also produces a quieter sound. Here is that same little melody without the left pedal being used. And here it is with. It has a very similar effect to the left pedal as it makes the piano quieter. And here it is with. One interesting thing to note about this left pedal though is that since it's bringing the hammers closer to the strings, they have less distance to travel and that makes doing trills and quick runs very, very easy. With it off, you really can't hear much of a difference, but for me, it's a bit more difficult to do that trill with the left pedal act deactivated than with it activated. It really changes the feel of the action of the piano, which is quite interesting. And of course, you can combine the extra pedal with the traditional left pedal of the piano to really alter the sound of the piano. So here's that melody with both those pedals deactivated. And here it is with both of them activated. So it creates a much, much more mellow sound, which would create a very interesting effect in the middle of a, of a loud performance. Activate both pedals, and then suddenly play something really quietly. So that is a quick video on all four pedals on the Fazioli F308. I hope you found this video informative, and uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, you can go check out some of my other content. Maybe you'll like that too, and I'll see you in the next video.